Happy Tuesday, and as we look live from our Biscayne Bay camera downtown Miami right now, it looks quiet, but we have a few showers out there, so heads up. Make sure you have your umbrella with you. Not everyone is seeing the wet weather, but as we look from our Key West camera, it is also nice and quiet. You can see some green on real-time Doppler radar, and we have to zoom in really close to see these showers that are moving in off the Atlantic on the breeze. Lauderdale by the sea, shower there, as well as near Oakland Park. And we've had the showers around Roosevelt Gardens and Port Everglades. We just had a line of showers push across Opelika, Hard Rock Stadium, Miami Lakes, and now another shower developing there near Miami Shores, as well as near uh, portions of downtown Miami, North Miami, Little Haiti, as well as Coral Gables just had some showers and more on the way. Also, if you're in Palmetto Bay, getting ready for a little bit of wet weather. These are light showers and sprinkles, and it's all due to this onshore flow out of the east-southeast. 6 to 14 miles an hour. It's mild and humid out there as we should be waking up to the low 60s instead, mostly upper 70s in Pompano Beach, Fort Lauderdale, a little cooler in Weston as you're enjoying 69, but right now 75 in Miami Beach, 76 over at MIA, 73 in Palmetto Bay, upper 70s down through the Keys. We're seeing the 60s in Central Florida as well as into the Big Bend, 50s in Tallahassee. And as we head into the afternoon, it will be a warm one. We're talking a high of 83 degrees with a chance for a few showers. So again, here and there, we could see a couple of passing showers, dangerous high risk of rib current swimming, not advised. Boaters, no advisories. Seas two to four, light chop on the bays, wind out of the southeast. 10 to 15 knots. Tonight, stray shower, partly cloudy, 74. And the moisture will be around the next few days to squeeze out these spotty showers from time to time. As we head into late week on Friday, a weak cold front is set to move in, and that will provide moisture for some storms possibly. And we're going to stay warm and muggy as we head throughout the next few days, close to the mid 80s for Valentine's Day Friday, but yet Saturday, highs will be in the upper 70s, so finally a little bit more seasonable into the long holiday weekend. 